Howdy there my fellow Americans and welcome back to the Loyalists vs the Constitutionalists or Communists we should call them. It's going alright. We are about to enact another manpower law to get our army up and running. The Communists to the North have aligned themselves with France and Poland. Poland is being defeated pretty well but France is holding on on their little bit of a border there. So it'll be interesting to see what happens down at that end. Hopefully I don't get dragged into any war with those fucking idiots. I don't want to be at war with them all. I do have one you to hold on. People are starting to get well trained. So uh, good for them. And we've learned about paratroopers because we definitely needed that now, didn't we? No. Not any time soon at least. So uh, what else could I go for? Nothing there. Better recon. I don't need any more tanks. Let's just do better recon then. It'll help the boys out a little bit if we can get some better stuff going on. Plus we're defending very well in some of these areas. Very well. Not so much right there though. The whites are struggling but they are the worst train of out of everyone aren't they? No, not really. No. These guys do have slightly better divisions but I wouldn't say they're better trained overall. Plus the whites are pure, purely the uh, bigger divisions. Anyway, limited conscription, let's get it up. It's time for war. And employment strategy, maybe. Whilst it's over here, that will help us. That's some manpower, so we're going to go down this route to get some extra manpower that way. Let's hope that these guys can uh, get in to the field soon enough. Mobilizing per day. Ah, it's going to be a fair few. Poland has capitulated. Good. Fuck them. They, uh, they're they on the wrong side. They're on the wrong side of this war. But these guys are really starting to ramp up. And make some mistakes. Let's try and hold them back. And then this guy, if he hurries up, will jump on it. Oh, okay, now we've got someone else there. Still, let's uh, continue to try and hold them off while these guys get in there. Because it's just more land. Why am I going to turn down free land? We didn't have to fight for that. Let's just take it. Are you guys able to get in there? Because that's a good little bit to take. Um, everyone around here, you want to go into Louisville? Louisville looks nice this time of year. Anywhere else around here? Kansas, we are attacking anywhere are we severely out man no not at all so let's just keep trying to get our manpower back army is going down it really is so we're not mobilizing much per day at all a few thousand so it is slowly getting up to everyone being full oh Trotsky's, uh, Trotsky's dead bad for him Okay, anywhere else we can get steel from Guatemala? Oh, this isn't even steel. No, we're still stuck for steel. That's the right worst of things have happened. Hopefully one day I'll be able to get all our stuff back. That last attack, I, sh I just shouldn't have done it. But the army is now finding its way back to full strength. We have plenty of guns and such, but not enough to start creating more troops. Alright, the Flying Tigers. The war in China has taken its toll. And I'm and all that stuff. Despite the bravery of their pilots, Chinese Air Force desperately searching for new planes and pilots to replace its losses. A delegation sent by Chiang Kai-shek has arrived in Washington to negotiate transfer of about 150 modern fighters, allowing uh, a similar number of their pilots to go to China to fly those planes. Really? I gain war support... I would take some war support right now. Slightly uh, help my nation. Didn't appear to do much though. Really, Albania? This is really. I should have uh, read that Flying Tigers thing, however. I uh, missed it. Let's not lose here, eh? Come on, manpower, where you at? We need to be getting these numbers up. I need more men. Not fewer, 
We're losing men here. Good, get the numbers up. We need them. Get these men on the field. Where are you going? Come back. Well, they're going in the field. He's just fucking dying. Because we're constantly in this fight here. That shows how many men have been lost. I've already lost 300 odd thousands. That's crazy. That's real crazy. And they keep dying. People aren't going to stop dying anytime soon. Disgraceful. What? No. Uh, let's, however, change this cavalry over to National Guard. Anybody else got any weak divisions? You got two. Let's uh, switch them around to National Guard as well. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of manpower, but we do require these individuals to be at their full strength. So let's. Estonia has capitulated. That's one fewer enemy for us to worry about. Looks like it's going to be just Romania down there, and then soon armies will sweep the west. Good. Now where's all this manpower at? Surely these guys got to have lost enough by now. They've still got 600 odd in the bank here. 600 odd thousand in the bank. My goodness. Deployed 900 or so. God, deployed. Nearly 300,000 more men than me. That's no good. We're up to 1.9. It's going to go up to 2.5. So we do still have a few hundred thousand on the way. I could do a few more. Alright, that looks like some in the bank. But they're all probably going to go straight onto the front lines. I don't want to start attacking if I don't have fully manned front lines. I don't fancy it. So you reckon uh, inferior enemy, inferior enemy, and inferior enemy. Well, hopefully they have troops over in the old world of Europe. Oh, come on, don't cancel on us. We need these guns, we do. We're up to 2%. What is it we were after? 2.5, yeah. We're getting there. Which isn't a good sign, because we still don't have that many people in reserve. Alright, Army of the United States, that gets the mobilization speed up, but then we want to get this, which gives us recruitable population 2%. It'll be 140 days, but it'll happen. Might have been faster just to go for the... It would, probably would have been better just to go for the next war, but... Uh, not, what's it called? The fucking conscription law. The next conscription law would have done us a better job, but... Oh well. Okay, looks like we are reaching our point now. Yeah, 687 isn't changing from there, but our numbers are going up. So, how about... We try and attack in a few places. A few places meaning across the board. There's some green. I'll leave it for a little while. I'll start cancelling by uh, side. Looks like the reds aren't in the best spots. So we'll cancel them. Oh no, you, you're not. We'll cancel the reds. And we'll see if we can push up in some of these areas a bit. Looks like we will be able to. We do have a bit of excess manpower and guns, so let's leave them for a bit. Oh, these are defences mainly. There are a few attacks. We will let these attacks go through. As we try. Oh, we took Philadelphia. Oh, great. Well, let's go across here and try to take Newark. Because Philadelphia is going to give us some manpower now. Yeah, loyalists. A few hundred thousand. If we can get over to New York. Then we're laughing. We really are laughing if we take New York. Could you guys also spread out and do your job here? Your job can probably be just to uh, go around here and take all this. Or not. Alright, he is on his way over. Just go there, would you? Really, you want to go all the way over there? But it's not its not the right time for that. It's not. Agent captured. Joseph J. Morgan. Ah. Must be descendant of Arthur Morgan. Good man. Okay, the Reds didn't do too much, but the Whites are still trying to advance in some spots. I don't think it's entirely working, but good, good luck to them. The Blues are where we're having some actual success. Those are probably the best trained men I've got. Can you not just go up in that direction to do this? 
Maybe you go up there as well. You don't need people in here. We don't. So we're actually going to lose Newark. Could you go into there? Help with that. Let's try and protect Philadelphia. It's given us a few hundred thousand men here. Newark, though, Newark is not going to uh, last. Could try and take you straight back, though. I'd rather take that. Gives us a bit more of a easier way to get around defending the area. Excellent. We are moving with the Blue Army. The White Army not so much, so I will cancel the attacks of the White Army. We'll keep it to Blue only. Because Blue is the only one making success. So why would I fuck around? New York should be my top priority. Romania's down and out. It should be definitely New York that I want to capture. Uh, could somebody go up that way? Maybe you? And uh, No, I will not be joining your faction. I don't want to go to war for your ideals. I want to go to war for my own ideals. I want to beat these guys and be out of this, this fucking war. That's what I want. Senator retires? No. We are struggling to uh, get new walk, though. But there's still progress going on on this side of the fence. Still, I don't want to do anything uh, like create more armies until we have a bit more uh, guns and such. Let's get some better shovels. No. What have we got around here? Not much. Up here. Hmm. No. No. Okay. Well, uh, in that case, I don't fucking know. I have no idea. Alright, better shovels it is. It's going to take a while. It's not going to be that much of a boon, but let's take it. Let's take... Do I have another one already? I do. Okay, well in that case, let's go for better binoculars as well. And no, fuck off, please. I want to join your faction. I can modify my government. Why? Oh, of course, yeah, because Charles is cheaper now, isn't he? Okay, well, let's try again with the Red Army. See if they can push a bit. Let's try again with the Whites as well. See if they can do much. Just let the armies try and attack. We've got the manpower, we've got the guns. There's some more artillery as well. You guys want to help there? Good. I want New York so badly, but we might have to surround it to take it. I don't see this, these guys giving in too easily in this area. But when we have the guns and men, let's keep up. Ooh, Venezuela wants to send me two divisions. Well, don't mind if I do. I don't mind if you do, I should say. Right, but still, we are only progressing on this side of the uh, side of the nation. I wouldn't mind logistics uh, companies at some point, so let's learn about them. Do I have any motorized listed? I don't. Let's get motorized in list at some point. There, my next four factories can go towards that. Support equipment, the guns and such, all very important. These guys again very important, but they're not actually helping with the resources. So let's bump not want resource with the guns and such. So let's move you guys up. Get you built. Let's just keep one of you keep uh to keep getting us more and more factories. Actually, I do see a lot of green around here. Especially when we go into places like this, we can slowly but surely surround New York. That should be my main goal around here. Netherlands has joined the Allies. Are you sure? I'm sure you were with the... Uh oh, please. Please don't call these guys into a war with me. No, they won't, because they're not a war with me. Oh, good. Yes, that's why you don't want to join these guys' wars. Wait, 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 what? What's going on here? 
Wait, what? No! No! Why would I be at war with the Allies? No! No! Yeah, sure, war with... Why am I at war with fucking China? No! That doesn't make sense! I should not be at war with China right now! I'm not at war with the Allies! I'm at war with the United States who is allied to the enemies of Germany. No! Why would the game do this? This is not right. Ah, oh, you can't. You can't. This doesn't make sense. I should not be at war with these people. There's no reason at all that I should be at war with the Allies. I'm in a civil war. Just fuck off. That's all there is to it. Fuck off. Civil war, nothing to do with you. Leave me alone. But here they are. They just have to be involved. Army of the United States has come through. Alright, this really is turning into a world war. Now let's get these women in the army. You women want equal rights? Well, come and die on the front lines with all the men. You have an equal right to die in a needless battle. How does that sound? Yeah, now I've got to fight the fucking British and all their friends. Does that include Canada? It will do. It will include Canada. And it will likely include other nations reinforcing this here front line. God fucking damn it. I should not be in this war. I have nothing to do with this. I'm at war with the United States of the North. Why? Why are you guys being pricks? Fuck off. I don't like it. There's so many things in this game which should not be in this game. It's an American Civil War. Why on earth am I forced into war with Europe? Just, just why? Are you even at war with Germany? Okay, great, they're at war with Germany. And me. Despite not being in their fucking faction. I am not in the Axis. How on earth can the Netherlands call everyone against me in a war? What the fuck? The Netherlands joins Medzimori, leaves to join the Allies, is somehow still at war with me, and then calls in Britain. Yeah, well, fuck you, game. Fuck you very much. You are stupid. You are incredibly stupid at times, game. That's why people will call you a broken game. You've been out all these years, people will still call you a broken game. This is why. Take a hard look at yourself, Hearts of Iron. Just look at yourself. An American Civil War. I'm at war with both the Allies and Medzimori. I have not declared war on anyone. Alright, great. Fucking constitutionalists. So we should be uh, able to cut off these guys real soon. And that'll weaken everyone everywhere. Alright, great. Japanese Shogunate has joined us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on a second, why are we not moving forward if there is empty space? Yeah, you, move forward. All the way you can, do it. Your job is actually to hold them off, buddy. Come on, G.I. Joe. Get that shit done, excellent. We have moved in, but we have not been able to surround them. Just yet. A lot of these armies are actually starting to hold back. So let's tell the whites and reds to hold off for a bit. They are advancing. Advancements are made every time. Looks like New York is surrounded. Let's go all the way to Providence. In fact, that's Boston, isn't it? Let's go all the way to Boston. Straight up to Boston. Why, why are we fucking about here? You can go around as a shadow to the uh, to the forces. You can go up here if you can beat these. Oh, okay, maybe not. All right. France has capitulated. A lot of good that does for me. Fall of Paris. Yep, yeah, same thing. Providence is being uh, bypassed for reasons. I maybe will have to go through like this, but you'll go in here up there and that will give this guy the chance to take Boston. 
Which is ultimately why we're here. So fuck yeah. Let's move into there as well. Actually, no, you stay here. We can't. No, 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 no. You stay there. Um, right, you can go through into Providence. And whoever's over here can go into these guys because, uh, yeah, let's take New York. Let's take New York, conscript the local men, and send them off to war. Maybe we can go all the way north. Maybe. And also we now have three military factories, so let us... we got a lot of guns. We do have a lot of guns. We don't have any materials though. Artillery and support equipment is what we need. So let's do support equipment. Big league. And uh, yeah. Let's leave it at that for this episode. So it's really turning into World War. Despite it, it shouldn't be. This should be the American Civil War. But oh well. What? Oh of course. Yeah. United Kingdom's going to go through into Alaska now aren't they? Or Canada is. I'm surprised I haven't seen any Canadians or British on this line though. I'm fucking glad about it but... Yeah, we have to see how that goes. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.